We also need to understand that it is part of our aqeedah that Iman rises and falls. You have to understand that or you're going to always think that you, you're a hypocrite. And if you do always think you're a hypocrite, it's a sign of Iman as well. It's a sign of Iman. Don't always beat yourself up because you think you have become a hypocrite. Um, there was a companion named Handala who was walking in the streets of Medina one day and Abu Bakr encountered him. Assalamu alaikum ya Handala. He said, stay away from me because I have become a hypocrite. <laughs> I have become a hypocrite, so please stay away from me. Save yourself from my, my nifaq. Abu Bakr is like, what? <laughs> what, what? What's going on? How? He said, you know, when we're with the Prophet والسلام, I feel like I can see Jannah. When he tells us about Jannah, it's as if we can see it. When he tells us about Nar, it's as if we can feel it. And then I go home with my family, يعني, and you know, it just, just goes straight down. The wife is, you know, talking about this, and the kids are doing that, and next thing you know, my iman has fallen. Abu Bakr said, Subhanallah. If this is nifaq, then I'm a hypocrite too. So we need to go to the Prophet So they went to the Prophet and told him what happened and he laughed at them. <laughs> he laughed at them, he said, you know, if you were like you are when you're with me all the time, meaning if your iman was so high like you are, you know when you're playing Taraweeh Salah, how your iman is floating through the roof. He said, if you're like that all the time, then angels would leave the heavens and come down on earth and shake hands with you and give you glad tidings of Jannah every day. It's not like that. He said, iman rises and falls. Rise and falls. The thing we need to try to fix though, is that it doesn't fall to the point to where we fall into sin.